Hello guys, welcome to Lead Electrical Academy. Today in a, this class we will discuss the three phase semiconductor fed with separately excited DC motor. So three phase semiconductor are four categories now. So in that first category three phase semiconductor fed with separately excited DC motor. So for this circuit we will take three phases. So A phase, B phase and C phase three phases are fed with six three thyristors and three diodes as it is known as semi no semi means three thyristors as well as three diodes d1 d2 and d3 so in the converter we will take three thyristors as well as three diodes and it which is connected in parallel with freewheeling diode and which is connected to armature resistance and armature inductance and motor this is the load voltage this is of armature connection armature connection and for the field winding also field winding is which is connected with parallel with freewheeling diode and which is connected to uh, again the three thyristors and which is fed with the abc load and d1 d2 d3 are diodes this is the three phase semi converter connection as you know these three phases are having a displacement of 120 degrees so VAN VBN and VCN are having a input voltage 120 degrees phase displacement so VAN equal to VM sin omega t and VBN is of 120 degrees phase shift again 120 degrees means uh, VCN will be having 240 degrees or we can also write as VM Vm sin omega t plus 120 degrees. So here the cycle of voltage we will observe the waveform. So for this waveform for uh, alpha equal to 0 degrees. So there are upper group and lower group elements. So I, I can call this positive group or upper group elements. Upper group. For this upper group three thyristors alternatively th thyristor T1, T2, T3 will conduct. Uh, at uh, T1, T2 and T3 will conduct for alpha equal to 0 and uh, diodes D1, D2, D3 will conduct in the negative group. So for uh, we are considering in the cycle of voltage T1 receives for uh, if I consider this T1 receives a gate pulse at uh, 30 plus alpha to 150 degrees 30 plus alpha to 150 degrees it will conduct and uh, again T2 will conduct from 150 plus alpha to 150 plus alpha to 270 degrees again T3 will conduct from 270 plus alpha to 390 degrees so this is the conduction of T1, T2 and T3 conduction we can take this alpha value as 0 to 180 degrees so first we will observe for alpha value 0 so if I observe alpha value 0 so it will conduct from 30 to 150 no thyristor T1 will conduct from 30 to 150 again it will conduct from 150 to 270 again 270 to 390 for alpha equal to 0 so if you observe here this thyristor T1 will conduct like this again T2 again T3 this is the waveform of thyristors so from the source voltage we are considering that alpha value is 0 no so this is the voltage waveform for alpha equal to 0 degrees. So alpha equal to 0 degrees means it will conduct from 30 to 150 or T1, T1 will conduct from 30 to 150 and T2 will conduct from 150 to 270. Here if you observe here T2 will conduct from 150 to 270. Again 270 to 390 T3 will conduct. So alternatively T1, T2, T3 will conduct. And diode. Diodes will conduct d1 d2 d3 will uh, conduct alternatively so first first d1 will d3 will conduct again d1 will conduct again d2 will conduct for the voltages so the load current will be continuous so here if you observe the load current will be continuous throughout the working range continuous throughout the working range and uh, in the second waveform alpha is taken off 60 degrees if you observe alpha equal to 60 degrees 30 plus 60 degrees 30 plus 60 degrees means 
uh, we can take this of 90 to 150 degrees so here if you observe that voltage waveform will uh, conducts from this 90 to 150 so here the alternatively t1 t2 and t3 will conducts so similar waveform first t1 will conducts next t2 and t3 this is from source voltage we are representing uh, here also if you take this from 90 degrees means here I represented like this so alternatively t1 t2 t3 will conduct in the positive group and d3 d1 d2 will conduct in the negative group so this is for alpha equal to 60 degrees and uh, if you observe for alpha equal to 90 degrees 90 degrees means 30 plus 90 it will be 120 degrees so it will conduct from 120 degrees so these are the waveforms of 120 degrees again from alpha equal to 120 degrees 120 degrees this is the waveform so it will have back emf as well as voltage so this is the waveform of 120 degrees and the current will be continuous throughout the working range continuous throughout the working range so this is about the waveforms for uh, t1 and uh, t2 d1 and d2 will be alternatively connected here so the average terminal voltage for this average terminal voltage can be uh, taken as v average is equal to 3 by 2 pi and it will conduct from 30 to 150 no so i'm taking uh, the boundary constants as 30 plus alpha to 150 plus alpha and the voltage is across va minus vc d omega t so from this if i substitute this uh, 30 plus alpha and 150 plus alpha the value will be 3 root 6 vl by 2 pi 1 plus cos alpha this is the output voltage so if i substitute this output voltage in the speed equation as you know speed equation equal to v an angle at an angle alpha by k a pi minus t into r a by k a pi whole square k a pi whole square in the v at an angle alpha i can substitute this value so a uh, speed equation will be 3 root 6 vl by 2 pi 1 plus cos alpha by k a pi minus t into r a by k a pi whole square k a pi whole square this is the value of uh, the three phase wave and their speed torque characteristics if you observe the speed torque characteristics as you know v naught at angle alpha is equal to 3 root 2 3 root 2 or 3 root 6 at an angle <coughs> So, V naught at an angle alpha equal to 3 root 6 VL by 2 pi 1 plus cos alpha. 1 plus cos alpha. So, if I substitute this value, uh, at 0 the value will be maximum. So, it is uh, 0 at the value will be maximum. At 90 degrees it is uh, uh, it having half. At 180 degrees it will be 0. So, if I substitute cos value 0 it will be maximum value 3 root 6 vl by 2 pi so it is maximum value here it is represented vm at 90 degrees the value will be half so it is represented here at 180 degrees cos 180 value will be minus 1 so the total value will be 0 so the 180 value will be 0 and uh, the speed torque characteristics as it is a separately excited motor no the speed torque characteristics are drooping straight line characteristics so while decreasing the firing angle from 0 30 60 and 90 the speed also decreases so this is about the separately excited three phase motor separately excited three phase semi converter so we will uh, meet in next class thank you